Hey everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back. It's been quite a while. We at the Remnote team have been heads down working really hard on the latest and most comprehensive update for Remnote to date. Remnote version 1.4 brings a complete visual and UX redesign with a more modern look and feel. We've incorporated all of your feedback and done our best to remove friction points so that you can spend less time figuring out how to use the tool and spend more time focused on your work. There's so much good stuff to show. I'm actually really excited for this, but I can't cover everything. So definitely check out the change log for complete details, which I'll also leave in the description below. So with that, let's hop right in and get to it. First, we've made some changes to flashcards. So previously, Remnote was integrated with the concept descriptor framework. With that old system, starting a flashcard with a capital letter would automatically bold your flashcard and create a concept rem. Whereas starting a flashcard with a lowercase letter would italicize the flashcard and create a descriptor rem. We thought this was a bit complex and restricting for making flashcards since we want you to be able to customize flashcards however you need to. So with version 1.4, we've separated the concept descriptor framework from basic flashcards and removed all of these customizing conventions and made everything much simpler. So to make regular flashcards, first type the front side of a flashcard on a rem, followed by the angle brackets, the greater than sign, twice. Then type the back side of your flashcard. You can use any combination of angle brackets to make flashcards to practice forwards and backwards or just backwards. So for this instance, I made a forward only card using the two greater than angle brackets. If I want to make a double sided flashcard, one that practices both forwards and backwards, I would type the less than angle bracket followed by the greater than sign. For backwards only cards, I would use two less than signs. So the symbol between the flashcards shows which direction the flashcards are set to. But if you're locked in your old ways and want to continue using the concept descriptor framework, don't sweat, it's not gone. We kept the old method of using colons to make concept descriptor flashcards. For concept rem, use two colons. And for descriptor rem, use two semicolons. And you'll see the bold and italicized conventions are preserved. To make multi-line flashcards, which are rem with multiple bullet points, just use the same two symbols as above, either making the basic flashcards, the concept, or descriptors, and then hit enter. So for example, if I wanted to make a multi-line concept rem, I would use colon colon, and then hit enter. The multi-line rem are depicted by a down arrow. You can also manually change the flashcard properties by clicking on the arrows themselves. Clicking on it will open up a pop-out window that previews what the card looks like, and you can also make changes to the card type or just disable it altogether. Overall, we've done our best to make the process of generating flashcards as intuitive and as easy as possible. And if all of that was a lot more detailed than you needed, I would just stick with using the angled brackets for flashcards and you'll be good to go. All right, let's move on to the editor. As you can tell, it already looks cleaner and more modern. We've fine-tuned almost every detail, and there's too much to go through individually, but I'll give you the highlights. As you work, you'll notice that focus mode automatically kicks in. It removes all the icons and symbols and the sidebar from the editor to give you a more minimal and focused workspace for thinking while you're using your keyboard. Moving your mouse or cursor will bring everything back. And you can always disable this feature in the settings if it's not for you. Another notable change is that we've removed hover effects, which, like focus mode, is intended to keep the attention on our work without distracting pop-ups or things appearing out of nowhere. Instead, a left click on a reference, for example, will open up that reference, and a right click on a reference will pull up a preview and menu options. The rem slash menu has also improved. Hitting slash on any rem will pull up this menu that contains all the different functions and elements you can use to modify a rem, like changing the size, color, adding text blocks, images, viewing the metadata, power-ups, and more. Portals also got a completely redesigned look. They're more lightweight and they're more intuitive. In addition to the previous ways of inserting a portal using Control plus S or Control plus Shift plus Enter, we've also added another method of using two of the parentheses brackets. They're now way less intrusive on the editor and they're indicated by a faint 
blue bar on the left. We've also integrated lists into the editor. You can turn any empty rem into a list by typing in one period and then typing out the rest of your list. To end the list and return to the bullet point, just hit enter at the beginning of the next list point. You can even skip rem lines and continue the list using the same keystrokes. Next, we've made improvements to the find, filter, and replace functions. Typing in control plus F opens up the find, filter, replace menu. You can toggle which one you want to use, find, filter, replace, and search through your documents to find certain words, filter by headers, tags, or even find words to replace. And when you're finished, just click done. We've also made some minor improvements to toggling. So toggling refers to the arrow that appears next to a rem where you can collapse or expand your rem. If you decide to hide any of the children rem using control alt H, which I've shown right here, when you toggle the rem open or close with this arrow, they'll remain hidden. And as I mentioned, there are a lot of other changes we've made. View the change log for complete details. We're also introducing a new global omnibar that combines many functions across RemNote to keep your workflow strictly keyboard. To access the omnibar anywhere and anytime in RemNote, use the hotkey control or command plus backslash. The omnibar allows you to search through RemNote functions and insert anything that you might need. Just scroll through it and find what you're looking for. We've also made some changes to the sidebar. We've simplified it to only include the essentials. To access the sidebar, just as before, hover your cursor over the two arrows at the top left. You can also toggle the sidebar to be always present or hidden using Alt plus S. You can use the search box here to search any rem in your entire knowledge base. This symbol creates a quick capture rem that you can add to your thought queue. You can view all of your notes. You can study flashcards in your queue. I have quite a bit of flashcards to get through. You can view your edit later queue. You can view your pin documents here or create a new document at the bottom. Let's take a peek into the all notes tab of the sidebar. So this is a centralized area where you can filter and search through all the rem in your knowledge base. I can search by all the rem, by the document level, at the folder level, at the top level rem level, PDFs, and daily documents. Using the sort and filter buttons on the right, I can fine tune my search to find exactly what I'm looking for in a more intuitive way. Let's move on to settings. There are a lot of settings you can change in RemNote and we've done our best to simplify all our options as much as possible to make it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. We've done this by creating clear setting tabs and plus we've also added a search function so you can search through your settings and find what you need faster. Take a few minutes to customize your RemNote workspace to fit your needs. Just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for your patience as we've made these changes. Just a quick couple announcements before I end this video. First, we plan to return to our regular update schedule now that version 1.4 is up. So definitely expect more frequent updates. And second, we're still hiring at RemNote. We have a lot of big plans lined up for the future and we're looking to expand our team. So visit our careers page at remnote.io slash careers to view open positions. Again, we appreciate you all. Definitely join our Discord community and forum if you have any questions, want to connect, or just drop some RemNote knowledge. And I will see you all next time.